All right, so I'm doing the work on the code P0128 for this 05 Colorado. So that code corresponds to the thermostat on this truck. And it's fairly simple. Uh, first thing you gotta do is take out the wheel wall cover here. It's just uh, five or six of these push pins. And then after you do that, there's a little radiator hose. Could not find the pet clock on this radiator. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy enough to just remove the lower radiator hose here, um, which is just held on by this one clamp. Pulled that back, pulled the hose back from the radiator, and it just drained it all into this drain, um, the uh, pan here. So once all that's drained, you're gonna come back through this wheel well here, and the thermostat is under the alternator, and it's actually right here. So you can see this is already loose here. Okay, so it's just sits just like that. There's two 10 mil bolts here where my finger is and here where my thumb is. And I just got in there with a long ex extension, came right out. And then all you gotta do is grab this low radiator hose. That's where that's where the thermostat comes from, or is or starts, and just pull it, and you can see it's loose. So you can take it out just with the lower radiator hose and work on pulling this out, getting the clamp out of the way to replace it. All right, so here you have the new one that we just got from parts store. So I just, I don't have the special tool for this clamp, so I just use channel locks to pull the clamp off. Okay. This one's been on here for a while, so you're gonna need probably a flathead or something to get in here and just break the seal. You don't really need to pry because you still need this hose. So the goal is to just break the seal. It's only been on there 15 years. And as you can see, it does go about two inches up. So there you go. And that, that'll pull off. So I'm gonna clean that up and then it's simple. It's just gonna go all the way back in. Um, squeeze this a little bit to release it and then so set it's it. important when you're lining this up, you have this white mark on the factory lower radiator hose that lines up with this mark on here. So you can get this all set up before you go back to the truck. All right, so getting this back in, I have it uh, almost worked all the way in. Where the thermostat's gonna sit or where it does sit, you need to make sure the O-ring is off the block and then I just take some brake cleaner, spray it in there. It's okay if you get it in. And then just with a rag, try to get in here and clean up the meeting surface where the O-ring is gonna sit again. And you shouldn't have to worry about it too, too much. You just gotta get all the big stuff off and then spray it again. And before you, when you work this in here through these lines, the AC lines and the brake line, before you bolt it in, make sure this O-ring is still seated and it's not crushed against anything and then we'll just fit it right in here carefully to not move that o-ring right in here i'll give that o-ring one more check before i put the bolts back in there you go. all right so lower radiator hose is back on okay and then we're just going to fill it with coolant Make sure there's no leaks. Double check for, for leaks before we put this uh, wheel wheel cover back on up here. And make sure the code goes away, stays away.